This is Whiskey 6 Bravo Delta Delta with an update. Maybe the final one on the uh, Collins 30L1 upgrade. So I have um, got the amplifier running. Most of the impedance matching networks are set for the middle of their bands. So I have a pretty good response. Um, right now I'm on 20 meters, 14.287 I tuned up on. Um, it's working. I have 420 watts CW and voice. I have about uh, 800 uh, peaks at 800 average. So it's probably pushing 1100 watts peak. Uh, it's about what the Gonset does. Gonset's down below. Um, very picky on the tuning. Extremely picky. Um, I ended up having to go into a dummy load first and get it tuned up on the dummy load, which uh, I got quite hot. It was sitting on top of my trash can. Melted the top of my trash can by the time I got done. Um, a little bit of smoke coming out. I think I heated up the uh, 5 ohm, 5 watt, um, 1800 volt resistor that feeds the uh, plate circuit. But um, I hooked up a meter, checked the grid voltage, got that set. And once I got it tuned up into a dummy load real well, I switched into the antenna. And it behaved pretty well. And I got uh, anywhere from about 5.7 to 5.9 on the output so far. Um, I'm going to go through it. Uh, CW, the VSWR is quite high. But I think that's because it's all uncovered. I did get it some oscillation. Yeah, excuse me. Did get it some oscillation. Um, but uh, once I figured out how to get this thing tuned up, it, it, it worked pretty well. So um, I get about uh, 400 milliwatts, 400 milliamps, uh, sorry, in the plate current. And uh, it's about 800, 1800 volts. When I transmit, it drops down to about 1500 volts. Um, metal transmit switch. Let's see here. Switch over to CW. That is, I'll let it come down. That's about uh, 420 CW, 420 watts. And a little over almost 700 milliamps. That's in CW. Uh, switch to, um, switch over to my headsets here. Hold on just a second. Get my headset on. I put this down. Sorry about that. All right, so we'll try. Uh, there. So that's that's the voltage. It drops down. Uh, let's switch over to current, plate current here. About 400 milliamps of plate current. So, uh, yeah. 600, 800 watts average. Not too bad. About what the Gonset did. But, uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's pretty picky. It's, um, it uh, it's a little it's a little more difficult to tune up. The uh, the Gonset's kind of like a kind of a loosey goosey front end. You know, knobs are very forgiving. Um, and the Collins is uh, uh, quite tight, quite uh, more persnickety, quite more uh, uh, unforgiving. Let's let's put it that way. So. Um, so I may do another update once I get it all cased in, but uh, it is running. All the tubes are lit. Uh, voltage. Got my negative 4 volts in standby. And uh, 
when I go to transmit. Without modulation, it's about 3.8. So, um, yeah. So I will carry on. I will check the other bands, and I may give you an update. But uh, right now, it's uh, it's operational. So I'm going to leave it on all day, let it cook. And we'll see how she plays out, and uh, we'll go from there. So everybody, thank you for watching, subscribing. Um, I don't get paid for this. But uh, I do some uh, I do some things for the ham community. Try to get uh, try to get some help to people that are learning. Um, linear upgrades are not for the faint of heart. So if you don't know much about electronics or how to investigate old equipment, I wouldn't suggest it. But um, yeah, it's been interesting. Learned a lot. I've got number two. I'm gonna do it sometime. And um, I've learned a lot from this one. So I know how to dive right into that one and get it done. So besides that, that's, uh, that's it for now. So thank you for watching and 73s and uh, have a beautiful day.